we learned yes not yesterday tuesday that fractions were those pieces that when we add them all up we get a whole so i'm going to show you what we were working on on tuesday so we have this bar part of it is shaded in green not the whole thing but part of it is the part that is shaded is called a fraction and there are different ways to count that fraction just like there are different ways to count numbers each time i'm writing therefore you are writing each time you count a piece of a fraction each time you count a piece of a fraction you are counting what we call unit fraction Again, each time you count a piece of a fraction, you are counting unit fractions. That's their name. We got a bar, and we're partitioning, partitioning it, splitting it up into four equal spaces. Arwen, if you look at that bar, don't ignore what's colored and what's not. How many pieces do I need to make the whole thing? Four. I need four. So we would say that this bar is split up into, look at my mouth, fourths. Four. Not fours, fourths. Say fourths. Four. Four. With that TH ending. TH. Fourths. Yes, there's an S on it as well. Okay? Every piece that we count is called one four. So in that first box that you split up, the first section, I want you to write one fourth inside that box. One fourth. Uh, do we, um, do we draw this? Yes, I've already put that one. The next box, guess what that piece is called? One, it is not two fourths, it's just another one, one fourth. fourth. You are worth one fourth. You are worth one fourth. Hey, this piece right here. One, one fourth. fourth. Hey, that last piece, guess what it's worth? One, one fourth. fourth. Each piece on its own is worth one fourth. However, Ethan, we can combine them to make two fours. One student, two students, three students. I can combine them to make into three fourths or three students in my example. I want you to lightly, lightly shade in three fourths. Don't do it so hard that you can't see what you wrote. So we would be coloring in three one fourth pieces. The math language of that is right here. One fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth equals three fourths. We're only dealing with the um, three that are shaded. Those are the only ones that we're counting right now. So underneath, once you've got your bar shaded in, I want you to write the math language of what you just did. The math language is the equation 1 fourth plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth equals 3 fourths. A unit fraction. Adrian, you want to tell me what a unit fraction is? Go for it. A unit fraction is what you, it's a thing you count. It is the thing you count. That's a great start. Love that. Dominic, you want to add on to that? And each time you count a piece of a fraction, you are counting a unit fraction. Sure. A unit fraction is one. This is the most important part. One p 
piece of a fraction. Just one piece. So in the bar that we drew, ultimately we had three pieces colored in. A unit fraction is just talking about just one of those pieces. There's one one four. One piece of speech. Um, Azalea, please do not color on the back. So a unit fraction is just one piece. And then we count them to add up to figure out what is our total fraction. Okay, you ready to try some more? Yes. I'll make sure to add a period. Alright. Okay. Let's try this one. I have a rectangle bar. You can go ahead and draw it in your notebook. I have a rectangle bar. This rectangle bar is split into eight pieces. And then one, two, three, four, five of those eight pieces are lightly shaded in. Don't color them too dark because we're going to write in those pieces. So again, we have a bar split into eight pieces. And then inside those eight pieces, five of them are lightly shaded. Now Arwen helped us with the first one, because remember when I am trying to figure out what a fraction's name is, I need to remember how many pieces I need to make a whole. Obviously not every single piece is colored in, but if it were, how many pieces would be colored in. Hmm? We're looking at our bar. I need to know what the fraction is going to be. And to do that, I need to know how many pieces make up a whole. Azalea? Um, how many pieces are in the whole? Pieces. There are eight pieces five of them will stay that make up a whole. So in our first piece that you shaded in, what is that piece called? What's the name of that one tiny piece? You said one eighth. One eighth. Go ahead and write in there one eighth. That piece is called one eighth. What about the piece next to it? What is that piece called? One eight. One eight. What about the one next to it? What's that one called? This one's going to be called something different, isn't it? No. Still one eight. All of my shaded pieces are one eight. Actually, all of my pieces in total are one eight. But if I were to count just the shaded pieces, what would that fraction be? I am just worried about the shaded ones. Scarlett? Go for it. Five eight. Beautiful. So the math equation is one eight plus one eight plus one eight plus one eight plus one eight. Plus one eight equals five eight. So, so I'll give you some time to get that in your notebook. Now in this model, every single piece is colored in. That's pretty cool. That's pretty easy. So how many pieces did we need to make a hole, Brayden? Yeah, we need we need four pieces to make a hole, which means we're going to be counting by four. Good. So, what is the name of this first piece? One, four. 
What's the name of my other circle piece? What about my other circle piece? What about my other circle piece? Now, these pieces are all shaded. When I count them up, one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth, what is my total fraction? Gavin, what is my total fraction when I add them all up? The total fraction would be four fourths. Four fourths. Hey, that's another way of saying one whole. Does four fourths look different from the number one? No. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it looks a lot different. Does it smell a lot different? Yes. No. Yes. Does it taste a lot different? No. Yes. Is it worth the same? No. no. Yes. Yes. The value is the same. They just look a little different. Four fourths is exactly the same amount as one whole. It just yeah. looks different. But that makes sense because you need um, four fourths to make one whole. Yeah, it's almost like if we think about it in terms of money. Four quarters is worth one dollar, but those two things look very different. They're, they're worth the same. But they are worth the same. Four quarters, way heavy. One dollar, super light, put it in my back pocket. Same value. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. We're going to look at some other things that are worth the same amount in fractions, just like we did in numbers.